Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is not an SCP. But if it were, how would the SCP Foundation contain it? Hello, I'm Dr. Theron Sherman, and in this series we construct hypothetical containment procedures for non-SCP popular culture entities and objects. Today's episode is brought to you by the Site42 merch store. Head to the link in our bio to get SCP merch commissioned from SCP artists. As always, support independent artists. With that out of the way, let's begin. As a reminder, Five Nights at Freddy's is an expansive lore, so our containment hypotheticals will focus on one game at a time. As with the original Freddy Fazbear's Pizza location, the Foundation would first purchase the location and animatronics and close the facility, or use agents embedded in local government to condemn the restaurant for obvious health code violations. Our staff would need the means to survive working in the facility. Five Nights at Freddy's 2 definitely took the bigger is better approach to the FNAF franchise. We've got 11 animatronics plus multiple ghost-like entities. There are more rooms, more cameras, more entries into the office, and not even the decency of doors to keep you safe. But really, who needs doors when you have the Freddy Fazbear mask? This baby keeps you safe from 90% of the game's animatronics by fooling their sensors into thinking you are one of them. As a start, research staff would be provided customized hazmat suits modeled to look like the animatronic mascots during on-site study. Proper oxygenation would ensure that no low-oxygen hallucinations cause any issues. Note that the Foundation already has experience in modified fursuits, shown in the field log Mobile Task Furries. These custom suits don't protect from all the animatronics, however. We still have to contend with Foxy and Marionette, both of which are wildly simple fixes. For the Marionette, an automated winder would be installed to keep its music box from reaching the end. Meanwhile, Foxy is stopped by a blinking flashlight, so strobe lights would be installed in its home zone to keep it pinned down. With our researchers safe to study the interior of the restaurant day or night, we don't even need to waste D-class personnel keeping the animatronics busy. Well, we won't after the trial and error nights of figuring out the containment protocols, that is. And of course, a Scranton reality anchor would be installed on site to mitigate the danger of any pesky wandering shades. Make sure to like and share this video, comment any creatures you would like to see containment procedures implemented for, and if you want to help us make bigger and better SCP projects, become a patron at the link in the description. Secure. Contain. Protect.